In this video, I'll introduce Scara Robots and Yaskawa's Scara Robot product line as used in a singular control system. Hi, I'm Matt Pelletier. The Scara Robot is a mechanism with relatively high speed and high precision used for small part assembly and pick and place applications. First, we'll look at the Scara Robot technology more closely. Then we'll examine Yaskawa's Scara Robot product line with a top-level focus on integration with a Yaskawa machine controller. Scara is an acronym for Selective Compliance Articulated Robot Arm. In this 3D model, you can see that motion of the tool is possible in three dimensions, X, Y, Z, and a fourth dimension, which is rotation about the vertical Z axis. The robot is mechanically compliant in the X, Y plane and rigid in the Z direction. It's precise in all directions, X, Y, Z, and R, Z. The Scara mechanism is driven by four servo axes. At Yaskawa, we label these as axis S, L, U, and R. The S axis moves the first section of the arm, which pivots at the base. The second axis, L, moves the second section of the arm. The end of this section supports the tool quill at the far end, which can move up and down with axis U and rotate with axis R. Naturally, these axes can all move together and in coordination to move the tool along a trajectory or from one position to another. This can be achieved using the axis coordinates, also called joint coordinates, or inverse kinematics can be applied to the trajectory of the TCP, the tool center point. For example, in this linear move, The work envelope for the robot is nearly cylindrical, with the exception of the area directly behind the robot, and the depth is limited by the vertical axis. It is interesting to note that in much of this work envelope, the TCP position can be achieved with exactly two different poses, depending on the orientation of the second joint. This table summarizes the Scara robot compared to other articulated robot mechanisms. The Scara has the best repeatability of all articulated robots. And while a delta robot is still a faster way to move light loads, the Scara can be bolted down with a simple floor mount rather than an overhanging structure. These characteristics make Scara a great choice for fast pick and place of small parts with high repeatability. The same applies to assembly processes involving small part insertion, pressing, or even driving screws with the rotational axis. Dispensing is another good application for Scara robots, and they are often used in inspection, sorting, and other processes involving parts moving on conveyors. Note that Scara robots are generally not a good choice for applications involving welding and plasma due to their limited degrees of freedom, nor do they have the rigidity required for CNC or machine tool applications. Let's take a look now at Yaskawa's Scara robot product line, which consists of the SG400 and the larger SG650. The obvious difference between these two robots is the radial reach. 400 millimeters for the SG400 and 650 millimeters for the SG650. The SG650 can move twice the payload, and the maximum rotational speed of each arm is a little lower, and the weight is a little higher. These two robots have much in common. The Z axis can produce a force of up to 150 newtons, or about 34 pounds, 
The repeatability is rated at 10 microns. That's one hundredth of a millimeter. The ingress protection is IP20 with an operating temperature from 0 to 40 C. Note that the SG series robots are not food grade, collaborative, or explosion proof. On the back is a 15 conductor IO cable, vertical axis holding brake connector, and three air lines. The tool quill itself is hollow to allow routing of air lines or wiring to the tool. These robots are also capable of conveyor tracking, which means they can synchronize with a moving conveyor to pick and place. Functional safety is included on both models. This keeps every part of the robot and the tool clear of interference. Functional safety is programmed in the robot controller, the YRC-1000 Micro. It's the YRC-1000 Micro that powers the robot, handles all the kinematics, processes functional safety, and machine safety. This is also the connection point for the robot pendant, which is required for setup, troubleshooting, and fault recovery. These three components and their cables comprise the Yaskawa IEC SCARA robot system as a single part number. While the robot could still be programmed from the pendant using Yaskawa's INFORM language, the intention of singular control is that the machine controller hosts centralized programming using IEC 61131-3 and PLC Open programming standards. The machine controller interfaces with the YRC-1000 Micro robot controller over the network, and it handles I.O., servos, all other robots, and all other multi-axis mechanisms. These mechanisms can include custom SCARA robots. With custom SCARAs, the robot axes and inverse kinematics are commanded directly by the machine controller over the motion network. The optional pendant communicates data to the machine controller with safety switches wired directly to the servos of the robot. Machine safety can be implemented at the servo level, but note that robot functional safety is not currently possible with custom SCARA or any other mechanism controlled this way. Regardless of the connection scenario, all robots and multi-axis mechanisms are configured and programmed using the same IEC 61131-3 and PLC open function blocks. For example, in MotionWorks IEC hardware configuration, the YRC1000 micro robot controller exists as an Ethernet IP adapter and as a logical group for coordinated motion. This is the same for a GP8, Moto Mini, or any Yaskawa robot. On the other hand, a custom SCARA is configured as a group of individual servo axes, and the robot kinematics are handled internally. The Motoman Sync library of function blocks, such as MS Driver, interface to the robot controller. YRC Pendant Driver, allows the robot pendant to save points to the machine controller. Same can be achieved in custom SCARA with a similar function block. Motion sequences are produced with the same blocks from PLC Open, such as MC Move Direct and MC Move Linear, just the same as they are for all multi-axis mechanisms. This programming strategy allows centralized control of multiple robotic mechanisms in one programming language on a single machine controller. In closing, I'll leave you with a working example of singular control on a demo machine built by Yaskawa. This machine uses the MP3300 IEC machine controller to run three conveyors, a SCARA robot, two six-axis robots, a linear motor, and a delta robot.
Thank you for watching this video. For more information, please visit yeskawa.com.